The southern approach to Wildwood Yard, like so many rail yards, has an industry lead. The two tracks on the right are the main lines that bypass the yard. The track on the left is the industry lead for a Conrad Yelvington rock terminal. K915 is working that yard this morning. Note that the dwarf signal is showing a white or lunar aspect. The aspect is called restricting. The indication is move only fast enough to be able to stop your train in half the range of vision, permitting stopping short of any obstruction on the track ahead, including a stop signal or a wrong switch, and in no case faster than 15 miles per hour. Since this is a lead going into a yard, restricting or stop are the only two indications the signal can give. Hence, white on top and red on the bottom. When the engines of K915 pull north of the dwarf signal, they knock it down. Later on in the morning, K915 needs to turn his engine southward by running the Y at Wildwood. The Y dead ends about a quarter mile away and only about three engine lengths past the switch, so the best signal a train can get moving onto this track is restricting. Move only fast enough to be able to stop your train completely within half the range of vision so you don't hit anything that might be hiding around there on the tracks. K915 is an empty hopper train headed to Miami's Chrome Quarry for more Florida Lime Rock. A rule I've learned about restricting signals is this. In XSCL territory, Seaboard Coastline, anytime there's a white or lunar signal in the aspect, the indication is always restricting. Here we're on the CSX A line at Tampa's Navy Y. Amtrak 91 is coming in to turn this Y and back into Tampa Union Station. 91, Amtrak is 153 South, got to restrict in 39. He gets a restricting here for several reasons. There's a building that blocks his vision of the road crossing until he's about 100 feet from it. And just beyond the switch for the Y, the track is non-signaled. Therefore, he must be able to stop his train for any obstruction he might unexpectedly encounter. And just like everywhere else in CTC territory, the signal returns to an absolute stop once the engine passes. Next time, we'll talk about more complicated signals, like this medium approach medium at Folkestone, Georgia. Till then, this is Danny Harmon, out.